Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be looking at a keychain multi-tool from Gerber and that is the Gerber Dime. Now the Gerber Dime, I have a little bit of mixed emotions about it because there's a couple of features on the Gerber Dime that I really like a lot and then there's a, the, you know, some other features on it that are really kind of subpar and so it comes in at a decent price. I think it retails from Gerber at $24, but you can regularly find this multi-tool for a lot cheaper than that. I've seen it, you know, for around the $20 mark most of the time, and oftentimes a lot cheaper than that. So if you can get it on a good deal, then it's definitely worth its value. But it does have a couple of things on it that are really a little bit lacking, in my opinion. Well, let's get into the specs of this little guy. Then we're going to go through the 10 different functions that it has to offer. Then I'm going to bring in one of his closest competitors, and that's going to be the Leatherman Squirt PS4. We're not going to do a full-on comparison, but I'm going to show you a couple of small differences between the two and hopefully help you decide whether or not the Gerber Dime is the right multi-tool for you. Let's get started. One of the redeeming qualities of the Gerber Dime is how small and compact it is and lightweight. So the weight on this comes in at 2.32 ounces. Very, very lightweight. Great pocket uh, keychain size multi-tool. Now uh, 2.32 grams is going to be about, or excuse me, 2.32 ounces is going to be about 66 grams. Overall length from the outside to outside uh, is going to be uh, two and three quarters of an inch long or about 70 millimeters. Its overall width is about 13 sixteenths of an inch or, or right at 21 millimeters and it's about a half inch thick or roughly 13 millimeters. Now the f f first thing that we're going to look at on the Gerber Dime, and one of the tools that I really like a lot about it is the frame integrated bottle cap lifter. You know, I don't drink a lot, but he, the people that are going to pick up this type of multi-tool that you know, want to have the functionality to use that bottle cap lifter. I like frame integrated bottle cap lifters a lot because you don't have that extra step having to pull it out of your pocket and then try to search for the bottle cap lifter. It's right there. It's easily accessible. And that is one of the great things about the Gerber Dime. It's not the greatest bottle cap lifter, but it's easily accessible. And that is one of the features that I really like about it. Now it also integrates these tweezers. The tweezers are a little subpar, they're a little flimsy. Now in a Victorinox style uh, tweezers, you actually get a little bit wider tweezers. They're, they're a bit more robust. Now these do work, they're just not great. It's one of those tools that I think they could have done just a little bit better on this particular multi-tool. Also has a lanyard ring here as well. Now, on the outside of tools, we'll start off, actually we'll get to the other side, we'll start with the knife blade. The knife blade on this little guy is, it's a different kind of shape. It has that large belly to it, and it's actually is a uh, flat ground blade, so it's, it's ground on both sides, but it doesn't come out of the factory really, really sharp, and we're going to demonstrate that here in a little bit. Now the blade length on this is one and three eighths of an inch overall, or about 35 millimeters. Then if we get onto the opposite side, this is one of the redeeming qualities. The two, there's three things that I really like about the Gerber, and that is its pliers at the very front, the package opener here, and the bottle cap lifter. This package opener might be the redeeming quality for this multi-tool though. I really like this and it's chisel ground and so it's very easy to sharpen back up when it duels but this is fantastic for opening up uh, clamshell packages. It's not quite as good in my opinion as the Leatherman Wingman. I think the Wingman and Rev have the absolute best package opener that's ever been put on a multi-tool. They just work flawlessly. This one is a little more cumbersome to use because of the fact that it's in a little shorter multi-tool. Not to detract from the fact that it is a very good package opener as well and, and functions very, very, very well. It's one of the great tools on the Gerber Dime. Next tool over is a small pair of scissors. Now, scissors are important to a lot of people, but in these smaller multi-tools, you really should not expect a lot out of these scissors. They work decent for cutting paper 
and light thread but if you intend to use them to cut for heavier duty stuff even even into a little thicker cardboard or paracord they're really just not going to get the job done and we're going to demonstrate a little bit of that here in just a moment then on the opposite side we have a flat driver this is a quarter inch flat driver not really what I would recommend for a pry tool on this one it's it's a little thin so I wouldn't use it much more than just a screwdriver on the opposite side of that we have our flat Phillips and also a micro driver on the front and then it incorporates this file now the problem with the file is that in this multi-tool while it's listed as a function that's really kind of useless you're not going to be able to first of all the frame is in the way to be able to get any kind of real work and then you also have the lanyard ring that's in the way there as well so if you're expecting to get anything done with this file uh, I think you're going to be sorely disappointed the drivers work decently but the files are just not not great at all and then if we get it opened up now the pliers on it I actually do like. First of all, they're spring-loaded. And with smaller multi-tools like this, uh, keychain multi-tools, it is imperative that they be spring-loaded. And most of them that you find on the market today, there's a couple of exceptions, but most of them are going to be spring-loaded. Now, the pliers are a double-edged sword because at the tip, you'll notice that they do their plier design in a little bit different way than other manufacturers where they bring it down into this very nice point. And I gotta tell you, those the tip of those pliers, is the sharp point on those pliers, that actually work better as tweezers than the integrated tweezers that come with this multi-tool. And that is definitely one feature that I like. They're an okay set of pliers. They have the needle nose functionality, they have regular pliers, and then they have wire cutters. The wire cutters are not good. And it's not the wire cutters themselves that are the problem. It is the pin size for the mechanism on the pliers itself that is the weak is the weak point. Because of that, there's a lot of flex in these pliers. So if you're expecting them to do any kind of real work, the, again, you're going to be very, very disappointed in them. They will cut on lighter stuff they just they're just not great they're just a little they're manufactured a little too weakly and we're going to bring in the ps4 to kind of high, highlight why uh you know the differences between those pin sizes to kind of show you why these are a little bit weaker of a plier there are a few good tools on here though uh is it enough to warrant buying it? Well, that you really have to decide that for yourself. But let's bring in the PS4 because that's going to be its really its closest competitor. And I'm going to show you some of the things on here that I don't like that much and how the PS4 does those functions quite a bit better than the Gerber Dine. Well, the first thing that we're going to look at are the knife blades. And you'll notice that the PS4 has a little bit larger knife blade, but it's also a chisel ground blade as opposed to a flat ground blade ground on both sides like the like the Gerber dime is now the dime does not come real sharp out of the factory and you can easily fix this by sharpening it yourself but I do want to demonstrate that the dime just does not cut very very cleanly out of the factory it it's decent I guess for a little backup blade but you definitely want to sharpen that up where the Leatherman PS4, the Squirt PS4, comes very, very sharp out of the factory. So that is one of the areas where Gerber really needs to, you know, they need to, to work on that a little bit and get those blades coming out of the factory a, a little bit sharper than what they do. Now the next thing that we're going to look at is the scissors. And while the scissors on both of these multi-tools, you know, they're really, they're kind of small and because of the size of the multi-tools so you really shouldn't expect a whole lot of work out of them much more than paper and they do a decent job on paper not bad so it, both of these are pretty comparable when it comes to cutting on paper but when you get into a little larger stuff the the p4 scissors uh squirt, squirt ps4 scissors are actually a little better so they do an okay job on paper now let's bring in a little piece of cardboard and see how they perform on that 
and you see the PS4 will get through that okay. It struggles a little bit because of its overall size, but when we put the, the Gerber dime, you see how that just, the pin on this is not quite as robust as that of the, as the PS4, and it tends to roll a little bit. So let's give that another shot and see if we can get it to cut, and we're still having that same problem. So when it comes to cutting larger stuff, the, the Gerber dime, while the scissors work fantastic, well not fantastic, they work, they work acceptably well on paper, they are a little bit lacking when it comes to trying to cut on other stuff. Now neither one of these scissors is going to be very good at cutting paracord, but we'll give them a try. The PS4, well it actually didn't do too bad, all things considered, they usually have a little bit of trouble with it getting through there, I guess it just matters how you hit it sometimes. You can see that it's struggling to get through there. It went through one of them okay and then for the rest of it it's really having a hard time. And that's my, you know, that's been my experience with the smaller scissors on the PS4. Let's try it with the Gerber dime. And you can see that it's not even trying to cut that paracord. It All it's doing is just rolling right over no matter how far back or how far forward I set it, I just cannot get it to cut. So the scissors on the Gerber dime, apart from cutting on maybe thread or a little bit of twine or, or paper, are not going to be much more efficient beyond that. Now as I mentioned earlier with the file on the Gerber dime, it really does not do, you're really not going to be able to get much done with it. On the other hand, the PS4 file, while it's short, by comparison to a full-size multi-tool, I actually like this file quite a little bit because the overall size and frame of the multi-tool allows me to be able to get some really good use out of it because you know it's it's really a delicate file, but you can really get quite a bit done with it, and it has a good length file for the size of the multi-tool itself. The last thing that we're going to look at by comparing these two is going to be in the pliers. And first of all, you'll notice that the Gerber dime in its open position has a much wider that they open up quite a bit wider and that can be a positive and a negative depending on what you're trying to get onto with your pliers whereas the PS4 this is its open position now if we close the pliers up to the same size there you can notice that they're pretty much on par with one another uh, one another as far as their opening now the pliers on keychain multi-tools are not great they they can do perform okay tasks so we're going to try a little bit of wire cutting with these and it's been a little while since I've tried it with the PS4 so we'll see how it goes. They usually do a decent job but here I've got a little bit of 16 gauge wire so we'll try to get through that and it got through most of it. It left one thread there, one, one copper wire there. So not bad but not great and now we'll try it with the Gerber dime. Let's get it in there. And you can see that here's the problem with the pliers is that they tend to roll over. You can see how much those pliers have flexed. And let's try to cut that one, one more time going the opposite direction and see if we can't get it to cut through. And it just does not do a very good job of getting through there. It's left quite a few of the copper wires exposed and just does not make very good cutters. Where the PS4 will do a much, much better job with that. Now, the biggest difference is, as you can see in the... Let me zoom in here just a little bit so we can get a little better look at this. You'll notice that the pin size here on the... Gerber dime is very very small in comparison to that of the PS4. Now the PS4 will also has a bit of flex to it so it will double over just like the Gerber dime but not nearly as bad as the dime. So the the pliers on the Gerber dime are one of the things that is really somewhat lacking in my opinion. Well what you have to ask yourself is if is the Gerber dime worth that twenty dollar value to it and, to you? And for some people, I'm going to say yeah, I would recommend this tool. And it just really depends on what you need the multi tool for. First of all, for for uh, beer drinkers, I would say that you know if you need a bottle cap lifter, definitely the bottle cap lifter on a Gerber dime is one of its redeeming qualities, and it's one of the things that I really like about it. The next thing is definitely the package opener. 
The package opener is fantastic on this little guy, and I don't have any packages to open right now to demonstrate this, but it really, really works well. And that in and of itself may be enough for you to buy this multi-tool. The last thing that I like about the Gerber Dime is not the main pliers themselves nor the cutters, but the fact that those front pliers come down to such a sharp and precise point. They really work fantastically well as, you know, if you need to grab, you know, like using them for tweezers, they really will jump in there and grab something very sharply. And so while I don't like the pliers on the whole, I do like the front grind of the pliers and it's unique to the Gerber dime and it's, it's definitely one of its redeeming qualities. So for those three things, I kind of grade the, the rest of the tools are a little subpar for me. And so I kind of grade the, the Gerber dime in the, it's kind of a B size class multi-tool for a keychain size. If it did things just a little bit better, if the blade came out a little bit sharper, if the pliers were just a bit more robust, that would probably bring it to an A minus uh, for a keychain size. The file definitely has, you know, is definitely lacking. The fact that it has tweezers might be, uh, inter you know, integrated tweezers in the handle there might be something that appeals to a lot of different people. But on the whole, I think it's probably worth the $20 value to the right person. So if you need it for the package opener or for the front of those pliers to use as, you know, as really precise pinching pliers or for the bottle cap lifter, then I would say yes. Now, if you're looking at it as the whole package, would I recommend this over a PS4? Uh, probably not. I would probably recommend the PS4 because it does most of its functions better than that of the Gerber Dime, but it does not have a package opener and it definitely does not have a frame integrated bottle cap lifter. A couple of things to keep in mind. I think it's definitely a B grade tool, but it could be worth it to you. My review of the Gerber Dime, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next one.